Hi everybody, Rob Keys here with another edition of What's in the Box. And if you saw my last video, I did say more Star Wars content is coming, uh, and here it is. For this unboxing video, I'm opening up this, which is basically the new starter pack for the X-Wing Miniatures game from Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, this tabletop board game was introduced to me from one of my best buddies who I grew up with, a fellow Star Wars hardcore fan. He's read all the freaking books, but he got me playing X-Wing against him earlier this year. Uh, every single time I've played against him, I've always been the Imperials, though I've never actually used the X-Wing. But So with this one, this new version, which is based on Star Wars The Force Awakens, uh, that's right, this is Episode Seven content, the first Episode Seven content coming to this game. Um, I plan to play as the good guys. Uh, as you can see, you can see the artwork. You got the new X-Wings. Um, the original starter pack was basically the same. I'm going to open it up and look at the, the minutiae because I have a feeling this one has different character cards and all sorts of stuff uh, relating to the new trilogy. But um, the original starter pack was the same sort of thing. You had two original Imperial TIE Fighters and you got one income T-65 uh, standard Rebel X-Wing with the red coloring. This one, uh, I'll open it up so you can take a closer look. But that... Uh, as you can see from the Star Wars Episode 7 you know, TV spots and trailers, is a blue X-Wing with a different wing design and engine, engine design. This is the new Resistance X-Wing, uh, and these darker looking ties, of course, are the First Order TIE Fighters. So this thing is still shrink-wrapped, um, so I'll open this bad boy up. Yeah, I'll open it up before you look at the back, because uh, otherwise there's too much glare in the way. Uh, this game is a two-player game. Uh, and even though this thing only has three ships, one X-Wing versus two TIEs, you can buy all sorts of expansion packs. And my buddy Mark and a couple of my other friends who play this game as well uh, bought some of those things. And they are incredible because all the actual miniatures are to scale. And um, I think Mark has like a TIE Defender, TIE Interceptors. Uh... I got a feeling these other rebel ships too, maybe like an A-Wing and, and B-Wing. I was looking at the site uh, months ago and I was first thinking uh, of getting my own sets of these. Uh, and I saw they have like... Not just the Millennium Falcon, but they got the Slave One. They have, uh, oh man, for you hardcore Star Wars fans and gamers, they have the Moldy Crow, like, or the HWK290, whatever it's called, the designation of that. But it's basically, it's the ship friggin' Kyle Katarn has in the Dark Forces games and a bunch of other video games too. Uh, they even have the uh, YT2400, which is, of course, Dash Rendar's ship from Shadows of the Empire. Uh, some deep cuts, Star Wars stuff there. Uh, here you go. Oh, I love the feeling of the, of the board. But here, I wanted to show you the back, too, so you can kind of get an idea of the, on the components. You got the attack and defense die. You got the flight paths. We'll open that up, this up so you can take a closer look at that. Uh, so there you go. I'm very excited. This is the first set I've actually owned. Uh, this is, again, this is the X-Wing Miniatures game from Fantasy Flight Games. Okay, I'm opening. Here, I just did it so you can see it. Taking the top off. And right away, we can see all the... Uh, Cardboard punch board. We're gonna have to take all the pieces. I'm not gonna do that now, but I want you to take a look at it These look like they're wrapped, but basically here Are all the tokens so these things are basically fight pass. Uh, I won't get in, into too much detail on how to play the game but basically um, You can each ship has like certain maneuvers that can they can uh, pull off and you use these flight passes cardboard pieces to place in front of the base for the miniature and you can kind of tell where the ship is going to be going or how far and what angles it can fire in um, and some some ships are more maneuverable than others, or they can pull different tricks. Some ships are, are really fast at going one direction; they can flip around. Uh, some ships turn more sharply, um, and you know the, there are different cards which give special abilities. Like some have recharging shields, some have torpedoes and stuff like that. Uh, and the different pilot cards that you assign to each ship also have unique abilities and stats as well. Uh, and there are damage tokens uh, and other stuff as well. So that's pretty cool. We're not going to focus on that stuff. We want to see the miniatures. So here are the other contents. This is just a book showing a bunch of the other games Fantasy Flight is making. Not worried about that. And, oh, here's some, I was talking about the expansion packs earlier. There's a bunch listed right there. You see um, Darth Vader's TIE. I think it's called the X-1. Whatever, his version of the TIE Advanced uh, TIE Fighter. And the Y-Wing, A-Wing, and the TIE Interceptor. The Interceptor and A-Wing being my uh, favorite ships from the Imperials and Rebels, respectively. And we got a mission guide slash instruction manual there oh and all the cards everything's falling out ah. all right hang on so mission guide uh brief introduction to the rules of the game and how to play and how to set it up um again it's a two-player game but if you have a lot of ships uh you can actually kind of divvy it up so you can play two or three players per team and just kind of take turns moving your own ships around but ideally it's a, it's a one versus one game um and here's a more in-depth manual and this is 
rule book, I guess. There you go. Learn to play rules reference. Well, put that in frame so you can see it. Uh, I'm very curious to take a quicker look. Yeah, full color with a diagram so you can see what you're doing. So pretty simple. And the rule reference, this probably just answers a lot of questions on the minutia and details. Yeah, how to declare targets and attack, all sorts of stuff. So that's all text-based. All right, after that are the cards, which are key to playing. Oh, is that the uh, first order symbol? I don't know. And here are the other cards as well. So let's take these up. Take a quick little peek. I need to buy, um, you can buy the uh, little sleeves, protective sleeves for the cards, which I will do if I plan on playing this, which I do. Uh, so these are like uh, special maneuver cards. So this one says, this is one of the standard ones. Can you read that? I don't know if it's clear enough. Basically, it says, uh, wired, uh, when attacking or defending, if you are stressed, you may re-roll one or more of your uh, dice results. Oh, BB-8 card. When you reveal a green maneuver, you may perform a free barrel roll. All right, BB-8. There's a bunch of different droids, proton torpedoes, weapon guidance, and a bunch of different like action tech cards. Oh, and here we go. I think this is this other stack, the larger cards, are, I think, going to include the pilot cards because I saw the bottom one, which is Poe Dameron. So I mentioned the original, like the original X-Wing from the original trilogy and like the, the, the ship you get with the original version of this game is the uh, T-65 X-Wing. The new X-Wings you're going to see in Star Wars The Force Awakens are the T-70s, which is why they look different. Uh, you can even tell from that image. Um, so instead of having like two en engine cylinders on each wing, it's like one that splits in half. And uh, the wings, instead of folding together, they kind of go crossways, so they're like side by side. And the wings you'll see from the, looking at a top-down perspective, each individual wing is a lot more narrow because of that, but it forms together well. So yeah, Poe Dameron is the first one. Uh, Blue Ace is another X-Wing, and they have different stats, like just comparing different uh, for like attacking uh, shields and health. Uh, these are actually the same on each card. Uh, and that's the point value. See, this one's eight. Poe Dameron's eight because he's a you know ace pilot. And uh, blue ace here is a five. Red squadron veteran is a four. Blue squadron novice. Uh, ooh, some um, oh interesting. This is a seven. This is one of the first order fighters. Omega ace. Uh, I like the designation. So like tie fighter. It's a tie slash fo fighter designating first order. Epsilon leader. Zeta ace. Omega squadron pilot. I should be doing this so you can see them. Bunch of those Zeta Squadron pilots, Epsilon Squadron pilots are the super basics, only one point each. Um, so it depending on how you want to play, uh, the the whole thing with the Imperials in the original game, and I assume it's the same with the First Order, given what this package comes with, um, is to swarm your targets. That's why I kind of like playing the Imperials because when I played with my my buddy, he'd have it like a two X wings with like Ace pilots, but I would have like four Tie fighters and an interceptor, uh, so you can kind of like corner enemies and make sacrifice moves to to. Uh, getting up on them. So I kind of like that strategy. You got your die. Got to have those. And yeah. And then the last bit. That's the firing arc. You can see the distance. Two, three. The the red. Um, doing the wrong way here. The cardboard thing. <laughs> this way. <laughs> My hands are not working. Uh, and here are the miniatures. And their bases are on the sides there. So I'm going to take these out because I freaking love these things i'm a big collector of star wars toys what i should do with all the movies coming out every year now is get it from the basement all my old uh action fleet like uh ships i collected over the years when i was a kid which i oh wow super distracted here this is uh very sexy look at that the detail is phenomenal got the little uh Astromech droid in the back there. I really hope this comes through in the camera. I know the, the it might not be that very clear. You get the detail and the, and the the aging, even on like the laser cannons in the side. You get the four inches in the back. You can see what I mean there. Take a look at the front. See the engine split. So it's one kind of big engine split on the two, and then you can see it there. See how the wings are, are built totally differently from the top down. But when they're looking straight down, it looks like one wing, but it's actually two, and that's how they kind of come together much more cleanly. You've probably seen that. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know what I'm talking about. But there you go. A Resistance T-70 X-Wing with blue markings instead of the traditional reddish-orange color from the original trilogy. So it's very, very neat. And these are the same, but they, these are essentially black and white color. Oh, I was wrong. 
I thought the back of this TIE fighter, TIE slash FO fighter, first order TIE fighter, so instead of the kind of the, the dark gray slash bluish color of the originals, these are just flat out black and white. Same cockpit design and dimensions, however, uh, similar weaponry. It's got a pair of lasers on, on, on the front, but I swear I saw a toy that had like extra, a pair, like a turret, sort of like, you know, in the top of the Y-Wing has a little gun turret, which in some versions are like ion cannons and other versions are like a little turret. Um, they had one of those in the bottom of this thing too. In the back of it, this one looks like a classic old Imperial TIE fighter from the back, but I swear I saw a version of this, maybe it's a special TIE fighter that had like a, uh, a window that was very horizontal, and I thought it was for a second pilot that sat backwards. And it looks pretty similar from the top as well, which is where the um, the canopy opens up so the pilot can get in and out. Um, and the other tie is identical. So 2v1, uh, yeah, so you can see. There you go. Pair of first order tie fighters. So a uh, little fun unboxing video. I hope to play this over the holidays with my buddy. And I can bring these over there. We can share them. Uh, but the, the best part of buying this new starter pack is that it introduces, you know, younger fans, I guess, who may be getting into the franchise with Star Wars Episode Seven. But also, this this like shares the same game space as the all the other stuff. So you, now you can pit the new X wings with the old X wings. And the best part of buying this pack, of course, is all the new content, the new characters, and and uh, you know stuff you get here. So uh, very cool. So uh, if you're interested in playing this game. Uh, I will say it takes a, it's a bit of a learning curve. It's not difficult. It's just remembering all the different rules and, and the minutia details of it all. Um, it says it's like fast paced action, but it's really not. It's very slow and tactical, uh, especially in your first couple of games. Um, it says 30 to 45 minutes, but my first game took an hour at least. Uh, but friggin' fun. So if you're a tabletop gamer, board uh, game fan, or just a Star Wars fan looking for more, looking for something to play over the holidays with friends or family or kids or whatever, check this shit out it is very very cool um and yeah so that's two star wars unboxing videos in a row the other one i'll put a link uh in the description down below to get to it's it's um well you'll see it's like a subway's gift pack um showing off some of the collectibles you can get in subway canada stores i might have one more star wars themed video the movie's coming out so i'm trying to take advantage uh, oh i'll also put a link down below to my unboxing video of a lightsaber i bought many months ago uh, where I show two lightsabers, uh, including one you'll see in the upcoming film. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, yeah, so leave a comment, share your thoughts on Star Wars. If you played this game, let me know. Uh, let me know what your favorite expansions are, because like now that I have this, I, I want to buy specific ships. Uh, or if there's other packs. I know there's like a Rebel Aces pack, and there's a pack that comes with like a... The special, like advanced, not advanced, but it's like a red color TIE fighter, TIE interceptor, and you get like ace pilots with that. Uh, let me know what's awesome and what you'd recommend because I'm going to start filling out and build my own collection of this board game so I can play with more of my friends. But, um, anyways, enough talking. Like and subscribe for more unboxing videos and plenty of other gameplay videos on the way as well. And uh, may the force be with you.